All right, all right, so we're back. Mask is gone. It's not too bad in here. Go ahead and flip the camera for you guys. So it's just laying on, it's drying slowly. Um, and I'm just gonna keep going with it. I got one more can. I'm thinking with the one last can, I can get both doors. That's all that's left is this door and that door over there. And then obviously whatever's left, I'll go through and double coat everything. Now obviously keep in mind, this is all getting wet, sanded down. And then gone over with another primer that is more, I guess, just more protection, I guess. So this right here is just his first coat, self-etching coat. Pretty happy with it so far. Still nice and wet right there where that Bondo is. I also just pre-treated the other side where it was last in his can. So once that's done, um, we can probably go ahead and start working on the front as well in the bay. Uh, but with that being said, I guess that's it for now. Just another little update video. Uh, yeah, so I guess next step will probably be to, to do the front. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see it on the camera. Right here, there's still kind of like a little dip in the crease. I'm gonna have to work it out a little bit more and redo it. And um, there's a slight dip here too. But other than that, where I knocked everything down, it seemed to come out real good. So it's just a little bit more work here. That's okay. I mean, this was the worst spot and we're still learning. So before all this gets uh, flashed off too, too much, uh, I wanna, you know, you wanna kind of keep your edges a little bit wet. Um, I guess for the best result. Otherwise, you're, you know, you get a little bit of a darker, darker line. But once it dry dries, it'll all kind of start to blend in, especially once you get a good wet sand on it. So I'm gonna get to it. All right, all right. So look at here. She is finally all one color. Um, I have moved around the lights a little bit, so there's a lot of different shadings. That's kind of weird right now. So obviously we need to get a little bit more sanding done, um, wet, wet sanding on this rear bumper here. And we need to apply our adhesion promoter and primer. Same thing, we gotta sand this, adhesion promoter and primer, pull out the lights. We'll do the bumpers, probably next, and then we'll hit the, uh, the body work on that fender, the body work on that, and then the primer. Once it's all primered, we will paint the jams and paint the body. No biggie, no biggie. This is again just another, I guess, uh, another update to the paint painting of uh, everything. I did run out of a little bit. I did have full coverage, but it was a little thinner than everywhere else. So I went over it with a little bit of this uh, regular gray Bristolian paint. Um, oh. It appears I unplugged my light there, but you know, you get the gist. Just everywhere is primered. So obviously we'll come back, we'll touch up that, and uh, we'll get that done, that bumper done, and see if we can get this fender just to look better for now. I plan to do the track style fenders, so um, no biggie for now. Just gotta get close. So far, car looks good, truck looks good from here, so I don't see any of a spray everywhere. These three fans seem to be doing pretty well. I literally just finished spraying, so. I guess that's that for this part. Um, I am going to wet sand those and get a couple more coats on them. Because them, that right there is mostly an overspray coat on the handles. Um, so no biggie there. Yeah, guys, that's uh, that's it. My hands are, my fingers are numb. I uh, went through all our full cans. So probably five cans would have been good. Um, yeah, I say five cans probably would have been good. Now, obviously... That, I just bought those cans to do the back body half anyway, so I, I still got to get probably one can will probably do both fenders and then probably two cans on this hood just to be safe. And I have a little bit extra if I need it for the fenders or any touch up because I might end up sanding this, see where it looks like. And then if it ain't where I like it, then I'll probably end up doing that whole door again with another self etching. So that's it on the update. Uh, I think it's good enough for me to take this off. It is uh, scorching in here, guys. Whew. Yeah, look at all that I I did not. I uh, got some. Yeah, paintings. Uh, definitely some dirty business that uh, guys. No, I don't really have anything. Too too. There we go. That makes a shows you some sort of difference. Um. So yeah, that's it. Painting is a dirty business. Definitely don't do it with any type of clothes that you like. 
Um, definitely wear mask. I probably should have used some sort of eye protection uh, for the primary. Um, I will be using eye protection when I do the actual spraying of the car. Just uh, kind of excited, got it carried away with it. I'm okay, it's just a little sticky right here. Other than that, I, I think I'm okay. I got the little paint there, paint there on that one because it is on there. So, uh, definitely use the best protection you can get. I like the little plastic filter or the filters that's like that one, but it's got the little plastic piece in it. It's like you don't get as hot with those. But if you're going to be painting the car, even if you're priming, whatever, I do recommend the double sided respirator that's made for it. You can use them a couple times. I have one burning in the bag. I just, for some reason, I seen that sitting right there, grabbed it and put it on and started spraying. Um, I should have got the right tools. So I guess that's it. Um, the garage is still kind of a mess, still working on that slowly. But I don't know if you can tell, it is definitely looking much better. This will be coming out very, very soon to make way for the shelves that I have in the box there. That way we can get everything looking real good. I can have better space to, to do things. Um, with that being said, everything's looking good so far. I'm going to get out of here.